We are here to talk about 10 everyday luxuries you need in your life. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So I am a huge advocate for everyday luxury. Like these don't necessarily have to be expensive items, but in my experience, they've always been little luxury items that have honestly changed my life like I feel like I'm not being too dramatic here I feel like these items truly have changed my life because while you could have gotten like a cheaper alternative or maybe something that would have done the trick but not necessarily have done it as well um paying just a little bit more splurging a little bit more have honestly changed my life so we have 10 items to touch on so let's get into it the first item being good bed sheets I have slept in mediocre target branded like bed sheets for such a long time and i never noticed the difference like i would go to hotels and be like oh yeah like this feels nice but also like part of me is like am i just exhausted from the trip like i don't know and it was never something that i was willing to splurge on and then i recently got these brooklyn and sheets and honestly i feel like my life has changed i have done a ton of research on like high quality bed sheets like what makes it high quality what's the thread count like threshold almost that makes it high quality and i have found like the best value in brooklyn and especially because i did the hardcore bundle so i got 25 percent off by getting the duvet cover the pillowcases and the sheet set versus just getting the sheet sets. I think the reason why Brooklinen is able to make their prices pretty reasonable for good quality bed sheets is because they cut out like the middleman. So they're going directly to you. So you get to save that amount of money, which honestly I'm here for. So I actually got the Luxe Sateen sheets and I almost like the very like cooling feature of sateen. Um, and it's because like right now it's just so hot. So it almost feels a little bit cooler when you're laying in bed. So this is actually so funny. I don't know if I should admit this or not, but um, even after one night, night um, I was like laying in bed for the first time after I put them on and I kept doing like almost like snow angel kind of things with my legs like I just love the material of the duvet and the sheets I just like couldn't stop feeling with my legs and I just oh, I loved it so I cannot go back um, I think there's a statistic out there that's like oh you spend one third of your life in bed um, I don't know how true that is, but if that is true, um, I'm here for, I might as well sleep a little bit more luxuriously. Honestly, these were such a good splurge, 10 out of 10 recommend. So I do have a $20 discount code for you guys. If you guys spend over a hundred dollars, I'll leave all of the information in the description box below, but honestly, good sheets. I didn't splurge on this before and now I've splurged on it. I don't think I can go back. So the next item on my list is the Costco couch. Um, this wasn't something I've never really splurged on furniture before. I've always been like, oh, $3,000 for a bag? Not too bad. But $3,000 for like a couch or a piece of furniture, that suddenly feels expensive. Like I can't explain it. Um, but I've never been one to splurge on furniture, especially now that we have like a more permanent place to live. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe this is worth the splurge. And um, we didn't splurge in the sense of like getting the RH like cloud couch, which is like, I think upward like $11,000. Um, but this was a $3,000 couch, which is still pretty expensive, I think for a piece of furniture. And I kid you not, this was such a good purchase. I lay on this all the time it's comfortable so many people can sit on it I feel like it looks really good for the space um and I honestly have no regrets I think I have gotten cheaper furniture or cheaper couches before which like are kind of cute like I used to have one um I guess we still have it but um it folds out like a futon it was one of those cutesy kind of couches and it got the job done but it wasn't something that I wanted to lay on all the time and now I like lay on the couch I work from the couch I watch tv I eat like I do everything on that couch and I just love it so much the next item on my list are air tags of um, I feel like these really are the most useful during traveling sometimes I'll slip them into my handbags or I'll have them on my keys um just so like as a just in case, but it's one of those things you don't really want to utilize, but I think just having that peace of mind, especially if you put it on your luggage, which I normally do when I'm checking in my bag, um, I have that peace of mind that my bag actually made it onto the plane. There's been so many lost baggages, stolen items, like so many of these things that like, Yes, all of these are replaceable, but just having that peace of mind, having something that tracks you. And I think the interface for um, like air tags is a lot more seamless than I think like tile. Um, you don't have to download a separate app. Everything is under like Apple, my location. So it's just so much easier to use. And honestly, 
I love it. Would we even be in the luxury slash handbag space if we didn't throw in a handbag for everyday luxury? And I think one of the best everyday luxury handbags is going to be my Longchamp Le Pliage. Um, I use this thing all the time. It's my go-to work bag, picnic. Um, anytime that I have to carry a bag where I don't necessarily need to like don't want to baby it, I don't care about it, but it fits everything. It's durable. It's water resistant this is the bag for you. Um, I think that yes, it's expensive for a nylon bag. You can probably get a nylon bag off of Amazon for probably like $20, $30. So in that sense, it is a little bit of a splurge, but I haven't had any quality issues with it. Even if you get like holes in the corners, they'll replace it for free. Like there's just so many things about the bag that honestly, I love it. Totally worth the splurge, even though it feels like unreasonable for a nylon bag. I think it's definitely worth it. The next item on my list are hotel collection candles, um, specifically ho hotel collections, because I've had like Bath and Body Works candles. I've had other candles here and there, but I just love how hotel collection candles smell. They're candles inspired by like that hotel feel that luxury feel and it's kind of circling back to like the bed sheets where you just want to feel like you're living in a luxurious hotel like at home like I don't know I don't know if that's the best way to put it but um I love the smell of hotel collection candles I feel like they're very low-key and like anytime anyone's ever over and I have one burning they're like oh my god like what does that smell like I love it and just overall I love how luxurious the scent is the next item on my list is the Dyson hot cool fan heater air purifier like three in one kind of thing so i got one of these almost two years ago at this point and i have been using it all the time you can use because it's like a hot feature and then also the cool feature you can use it like all year round i also really like that it purifies the air since i have really bad allergies so overall i think that this is a really good purchase i wouldn't necessarily pay full price for it just because i have seen it on sale sometimes you can get it from costco which i got mine from costco best buy typically does sales and so you don't have to pay full price for it so if you see the price tag is like four or five even like eight hundred dollars maybe look at like 350 399 like you really don't have to pay the retail price for Dyson, but I do think that it's worth the splurge just because you're able to use it all year round. The next item on my list is my Nespresso. If you guys know me, you know that I live, breathe, and die for my Nespresso. Um, I used to go out and get Starbucks like lattes, like five, six dollar lattes all the time, and I no longer feel inclined to go to starbucks anymore number one because i'm partially lazy but also like i feel like the coffee that i make at home is just as good as i get from starbucks like yeah i may not have as much variety but i love having my nespresso it's a dollar per pod um and just overall like a great a great purchase um i still drink like drip when i want to like <laughs> humble myself um so i don't drink my nespresso every single day just because a dollar per pod can't add up but um i think on the days that i want to like treat myself or i just need that extra like shot those are perfect overall i really really like it i did have one incident with like it needing to be repaired so and i have heard other people say that they had their nespresso's needed needed to be repaired as well but i got it back in a week i had really good experience with their whole return repair process um and th they didn't charge me anything their customer service was really helpful so if that is the case um I will continue to support them. I do really like them. Moving on to number eight, we have my Dyson hair dryer. I feel like a lot of people were probably expecting that I was gonna say the air wrap, which like I do like the air wrap, but I feel like it has a very steep learning curve. And at least for my hair, it doesn't really hold the curls very well. Um, but the hair dryer, because I have very long hair, it dries my hair very quickly. Um, and not only like I'm able to use it, my boyfriend's able to use it. It's cheaper than the air wrap. So I think for all of those kind of reasons, I will have to say I prefer the hair dryer over the air wrap. And so I think if you are splurging on a hair device, I have to say it's the hair dryer, especially if you wash your hair a lot. I know that's probably not a very comment or popular opinion or on youtube are gonna say like yeah i think you should go for the air wrap but also the air wrap is 650 699 dollars hair dryer is like 399 right so i think for the um, bang for your buck i think the hair dryer is better it blow dries your hair very quickly and i have yet to have any issues with it um so yeah, I really recommend the hairdryer. The next item on my list is a robo vacuum. I've had Roombas before and I never felt like, oh my God, I love my Roomba. And I feel like partially it's because my Roomba was like kind of dumb. Um, it would like bump into things or run over wires. Like it was just like, 
it was not right. And then I recently got gifted a Yufi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And you can get it on Amazon. I'll leave all of the links and stuff in the description box below. And um, it picks up so much dust and so much hair. And you can use the app and you can con control like um, the different suction types. You can do like normal or standard. And then they have like Turbo IQ, which like kind of senses depending on like the floor, how much suction to use. And I have it run every other day. I have it just scheduled and it runs by itself. And every single time the dust pan is full. So it makes me think like, am I really that gross that I have like dust everywhere? I don't know. Um, but it's just, I feel so much cleaner. I haven't actually vacuumed, like personally used a vacuum since we moved here, just because I have that running every other day. I don't need to like watch out for it. Um, sometimes it gets trapped under like random stuff, but I feel like the battery life is really good. Um, I can usually run like one whole floor and then the dust pan is full. I empty it out. I charge it for a few hours and then I have it run on the top floor. The only thing is that it doesn't do the stairs and now I have to like vacuum stairs. Previously where we live, we didn't have stairs. So that's the only thing I really wish that they had some sort of robo vacuum that can vacuum the stairs or maybe even one that like mops the floor as well. Um, I'm sure they're out there it's <laughs> somewhere. Um, but I think not having to vacuum, especially not having to vacuum every other day has honestly been a godsend, a life changer. And we're not going back. I'm not going to go back and vacuum every other day. The last item, maybe it's me. Maybe it's a content creator slash YouTuber slash TikToker item. But I have to have a lot of storage on my phone. There's nothing more annoying than going in and then like taking a bunch of pictures, you're on vacation, you know, you're vlogging, whatever you're doing. And then it says iPhone storage full. And you're like, okay, well now I have to figure out shit to delete. It was just, we don't need that negative energy. And I feel like splurging on the extra storage really makes it a lot easier. I have, I think 256 gigabytes of storage on my phone. And I've had my phone for almost three years. I have not reached the cap whatsoever. And it's just, it's just that peace of mind that I don't need to go in to delete things. I can keep things for as long as I want. The double-edged sword is that if now, like I think there's rumors that the new iPhone is gonna be more expensive. So then you run into the issue of like, oh, well, if the new iPhone is gonna be more expensive, maybe I should downgrade the storage. But then now you can't downgrade the storage because you already have like, let's say 250 gigabytes of stuff. So that's the only downside I would say. But overall, I think not having to go into delete all your messages and photos and videos, delete apps, really just makes it a lot easier and like you don't have that stupid error message that shows up you're out of storage so while this may not be a everyday thing for everyone i think especially if you're a content creator or you like to take photos and videos of things i think that that is definitely a must okay so that sums it up for all 10 items of everyday luxury things that have changed my life things that could possibly change your life um i'll have all of the items linked in the description box below um again i want to thank brooklinens for giving me a discount code to share with you guys if you guys feel like using it let me know in the comments what are your kind of everyday luxury things that have changed your life if there's anything on this list that you agree with um we love bouncing ideas off of each other and we love just like supporting our bougie luxury lives um i'll leave another video for you guys here and i'll see you guys next time bye